Here's a quick look at what's coming up on Style TV. Country music star John Anderson, his local ties to Lake County, and his visit back home in the coming month. And Style TV takes you grape stomping in Claremont at the annual Lake Ridge Winery Harvest Festival. Tina Morrison brings you all the highlights from this fun family weekend. Follow along with Nico Tan as he takes you buzzing around the city of Wildwood from a popular hobby shop. Plus, this month, Style TV is on location at Advantage Golf Cars in Wildwood, where quality build meets quality service for residents in an area with more carts than cars. All this and more coming your way on the September edition of Style TV with your host, Tori Petri. Welcome to Style TV. I'm your host, Tori Petri. This month we're at Advantage Golf Cars here in Wildwood, the sponsor of this month's edition of Style TV. Each month our team blankets Lake and Sumter County to visit the people and the places that make this area a great place to live and work. Advantage Golf is one of those places. Customers from all around Central Florida come to purchase golf cars here with great quality and great service. We'll have more on Advantage Golf in a few minutes, but first, our cover story. He's a local boy turned country music legend. Superstar John Anderson shares why Lake County will always be one of his favorite places to visit and fish, how his single swingin' launched him to the top, and why his appearance next month at the Cattle Barons Ball is near and dear to his heart. And way down south in the Everglades, the black water rolls Country legend John Anderson grew up in nearby Orange County. Interestingly, he played in a rock band before moving to Nashville at the age of 18 to pursue a career in country music. Winter of 1972, I was a construction helper uh, on the roof of the Grand Ole Opry. So after that, uh, running around Nashville and playing in the honky tonks, uh, have people say, have you ever been on the Opry? I said, oh yeah, lots of times. Every day for 10 months. <laughs> Anderson released the song Swingin' in 1982 and it shot straight to number one on the charts. Well, Swingin' indeed opened many doors for, for me. I uh, almost venture to say that it uh, broke a few of the boundaries uh, even in country music at the time. Seminole Wind peaked at number two in the charts in 1992 and is one of John Anderson's signature songs. Well, certainly I consider myself fortunate when Seminole Wind, the song and the album came around. Uh, it went on to be uh, a multi-platinum record and uh, it was one that, uh, again, is, is pretty much uh, a fixture in my career. Yeah, I wish I could have been. Despite John Anderson's mega success, he remains I a down-to-earth guy who has not forgotten that his fans are what's most important. The crowds out there, God bless you folks, you've been great uh, for all these years and, and that's what keeps us going, is our fans, you know. That's why we want to write new songs, that's why we want to play the live shows and nothing will ever take the place of the, of the live shows. Yeah, I'm the black sheep of the family. If you'd like more information on how to see John Anderson live in concert at the Denim and Diamonds Cattle Barons Ball, then contact the American Cancer Society at 352-326-9599. If you're a wine lover in Lake County, then the annual Harvest Celebration was the place to be. On Saturday, August 17th, people came from all over Central Florida to participate in the yearly celebration of the Harvest at Lake Ridge Winery in Claremont. Attendees enjoyed live music, complimentary wine tasting, and the ever-popular grape stomping contest. We'll have more on this family fun event later in the show for High Society with Tina Morrison. On August 24th, the Boys and Girls Club celebrated 40 years and hosted its largest fundraiser of the year with the Black and White Ball. Guests were treated to cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, a gourmet meal, and an exciting live auction that benefited this worthy organization. August was a busy and exciting month for Acres Media Group at the Florida Magazine Association Awards. The publications took home 11 awards, six being the coveted Charlie Awards, including Best Overall Magazine in the State and Best Overall Design. 
With over 100,000 residents now calling the villages home, you can imagine there's no shortage of places to buy a golf cart. But as you're about to learn, one local vendor is building a very large and very loyal customer base. One sale or service at a time. The Style TV Sponsor segment is brought to you by Advantage Golf Cars. There are currently 540 holes of golf within the villages. There are over 100 miles of golf cart paths throughout the community. And the number of golf carts? More than 50,000. We do everything in our golf cart. We go to the pool, we go to the store, the doctors, and recreation centers and a number of other places to go. It's a golf cart community. Bill Schelling is a customer of Advantage Golf Cars in the villages. He recently needed his golf cart service to be checked for maintenance. But luckily for Bill, he didn't need to take his cart to a service shop. The service team came to him at his house, Advantage Bill. Uh, they came right to my house, changed the oil, tightened up the belt, did check the brakes, all that stuff, and uh, it, it was uh, easy. You see, Advantage Golf Cars is all about giving you quality service for a quality product. We offer uh, road service. We can come out and take care of most issues right at your house. Uh, that way you're not inconvenienced of having your cart gone for a whole day. And after doing his research, Bill, who is a regular golfer, noticed that a lot of other golf cart companies in the area didn't offer such an advantage. They come and get your cart and they take it for a day. And uh, it's, it's just not convenient. You know, most people use their carts every day. And whether you're using your golf cart to go out onto the green or to get some groceries, Advantage Golf Cars wants you to be riding in style. Forward and reverse is pretty much located up on the dash. Ted Jones and his wife Audra recently stopped by Advantage looking to buy a new toy. To tee off, they took one golf cart out on a test drive. Fell in love with the one we were in and then we decided that we were going to uh, go ahead and make that the way we wanted it and that was the, a great thing for us. Though Advantage Golf Cars does allow you to choose from thousands of color combinations, looks aren't everything. Comfort is equally, if not more, important. And there is no such thing as too comfortable. Comfort in the golf cart is a, a big plus for most folks. We spend a lot of time in our golf carts, and I have a bad back. And uh, I don't, it, I just need something that's comfortable because we spend a lot of time in these carts. So we just need something that's, that's comfortable. Even if you have uh, lumbar supports, which some of the seats do offer lumbar supports. Armrests that fold down to, give them more comfort on both sides. With seven locations across Florida and more than 20 years of experience, choosing Advantage Golf Cars for your golf needs is simply a hole in one. Stay tuned to Style TV. We have much more coming up in 60 seconds. Don't go away. Many in the villages associate Frost and Frost Wealth Management simply as that big bull and bear stack shoe that's out in front of our office. But behind that bull and bear stack shoe is an entire team of professionals that, that are well trained and set up to be able to help retirees with all aspects of their retirement needs. I think what makes Frost and Frost unique is that the care that we have for our clients goes way beyond just the management of their wealth. We not only manage their money, but we, we touch lives. As kids, when we'd fall and scratch up our hands and knees, mom and dad would always say, put ice on it. As we age, health decisions just aren't that simple. Fortunately, sometimes the best answer is still the same. Put ice on it. Only this ice, the Institute of Cardiovascular Excellence is the premier healthcare resource in the state of Florida. So put ice on it, you'll feel better. Hi Society is brought to you by Alani Medical Spa. It's harvest season and that means grape stomping time. The 18th annual Grape Stomp at Lake Ridge Winery was another fun family event. Tina Morrison got to experience firsthand and foot the fun and messy process it takes to create wine. Hmm. There is nothing more elegant than a fine glass of wine. But before it becomes this, it has to start with this. <laughs> We are here at Picturesque Lake Ridge Winery for the 18th Annual Harvest Grape Stomp Festival. Stop! And on top of the amazing food, all of the wine, beer, friends and family, we've got a very competitive grape stomp competition going on. 
This event takes place every year on opening weekend of harvest season, and it grows bigger and bigger every time. I'm pretty sure I just stomped my heart out, and I think I've got this competition in the bag. We've got a junior winner and a senior winner. Okay, so it wasn't me this year, but I'll definitely be back to try my hand at grape stomping again. I'm here with Janelle Paredes, the public relations manager at Lake Ridge Winery. And from my understanding, this is Janelle's first year at the event. So tell me a little bit about what you're most excited to see today. I think along with the rest of the festival goers, I'm most excited for the grape stomping competitions. Um, but there's really something here for everybody. If music's your thing, we have the best jazz local bands. We've got bounce houses for the kids, delicious food, um, beer, and of course, the favorite Lake Ridge wines. What's been your favorite thing so far? I think the, uh, so far, the, the little wine tasting inside, uh, especially the slushy uh, peach. Slushy wine? I think I might be in heaven. Yeah. With over 8,000 people in attendance this weekend, I would say the 18th annual Harvest Grape Stomp was a smashing success. For Style TV's High Society, I'm Tina Morrison. If you've ever moved or changed healthcare providers, you know how hard it is to live in uncertainty while searching for a new physician. We sat down with Ann Pell, an extremely active senior in the villages, who shared with us her excitement upon finding her new doctor. When Ann Pell moved from Maryland to Florida, she left everything she knew behind, including her health care. To me, it was a very scary thing to have to find a doctor. However, Ann is very active. She got involved with a group of twirlers in her community, and she is now the captain of the village's twirlers and drum corps. And most of my spare time is taken up with setting up events for them to do, costuming and purchasing costumes for them, making up routines and making up music for them. It's a big undertaking. But in order to stay in the sport, there's an extremely important rule one must follow. Well, number one, you have to stay healthy. We do 35 shows a year and we do 18 parades a year. You don't have time for down days. And when she found Dr. Clarissa Abrantes and her team at the Institute of Medical Excellence, she knew she found a team that would help her stay active and healthy. I feel like I'm in very good hands with them. I get greeted with a hug. The minute she walks in the door, I get greeted with a hug, and she really, really listens to you. She looks you in the eye and she listens. The feeling is mutual with Dr. Abrantes and her team. Anne is a very delightful patient to have. She is very compliant. She does what I tell her to do. I encourage her to eat healthy. I encourage her to be physically active, and she does just that. To some, twirling may not seem like such an involved sport, but the members of this team have to be very active to stay in the game. We don't just stand there twirling a baton. We march, we jump, we spin, you know, we interact with other teammates. You have to be on top of your game to make it through any big long parade. If you're not healthy and you don't take care of yourself, then you're not going to make it. Just like Dr. Asad Kummer, founder of ICE, Dr. Abrantes believes that patient care is about the body as a whole. We'll do everything to keep them healthy. And the reason they are so successful is because they treat each patient with genuine care. When they come to our office, they should feel like they're part of a family. I don't even have to say my last name. They know who I am. They are the most caring, loving people that you will ever come across. The primary focus of ICE and the Institute of Medical Excellence is on the human body as a whole, but the philosophies these doctors share is to treat their patients with love and make them feel like part of the family. Stay tuned to Style TV. We have much more coming up in just 60 seconds. Don't go away. The Salon Professional Academy. Are you looking for a new career that's always in demand? At the Salon Professional Academy in the Villages, our educators teach you the technical and business skills you need to start a rewarding and respected career. Complete your cosmetology program in nine short months. Financial aid is available to those who qualify. Call today to get started and change your life. The Salon Professional Academy, Academy. from New York to your world. At Ocala Eye, we really do look out for you, and here's an example. 
For some 25 years, I wore glasses. You know, that was always the biggest aggravation was pushing those glasses around all the time. I got on the table and they did the procedure and took 10 minutes, 11 minutes. Well, when I went out, I was totally amazed. I could see, I, I could see clear. I had no glasses on. You know, it just changed the whole quality of my life at, at 68 years old. I, I mean, I see just like I did when I was 20. With a little over 6,700 residents in this quiet Sumter County town, Wildwood has always been known as the crossroads of Florida. Follow along for this month's city feature as Nico Tan takes us through this historic city and finds some fun stops along the way. During the 1950s, the city of Wildwood only knew one thing, trains. Passengers headed to Tallahassee, Tampa, and Miami would all pass through Wildwood on the trains. But eventually, the wheels were no longer turning, the whistle blew for the last time, and the single major industry in town stopped right in its tracks. After the trains disappeared, the ride to stay relevant as a city has been all uphill. Welcome to Wildwood. Nowadays, people are much more likely to pass right through this humble little town than to explore it. And right now, I'm going to show you how in Wildwood, time is not the only thing that flies. Hello, I'm Nico Tan, Lake Style TV. Jack Noel, Noel's Hobbies. Okay, tell me what we have here, Jack. Well, I've been in business here about 28 years. Uh -huh. I've grown up with a lot of love for model airplanes and stuff like that. My dad did this stuff. And one day I decided I was going to open my own hobby shop. At Noel's Hobbies, Jack sells model airplanes in all shapes and sizes. I have toss it into the breeze right yeah. directly. But these planes aren't just for show. Let's fly. <laughs> all of these planes actually fly. That is so cool. <laughs> I wasn't actually allowed to fly one of these planes, but I did give it a go on the flying simulator. Now while Jack made it look really easy, I couldn't really get it on the fly. But something I did understand was not far away from the shop. Only a few steps down the road, I found some of the best homemade southern cooking that Central Florida has to offer at the Cotillion Southern Cafe. We make our own cakes, we bake our own bread, we make our own sauces, we smoke our own meat, we, we make everything. And while you're in town, you'll also want to check out the village's brand new square, Brownwood, now officially inside city limits of Wildwood. This area features colorful restaurants, a brand new movie theater, and live entertainment every single night that breathes new life into the city. What's truly amazing about this place is that two years ago, none of this was here. And now many people believe that the city of Wildwood is ready to make a comeback. For Style TV, I'm Nico Tan. If you're local to Umatilla, it's no secret where to find the world famous grouper sandwich or maybe some all you can eat ribs. This month, Style TV's Jana Wheeler stops by the Quarter Deck restaurant to find some Lake County home cooking. Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit is brought to you by KDK, gourmet kitchen products. Hi, my name is Jana Wheeler and I'm here at Quarterdeck in Umatilla. Today we're going to check out the local cuisine and get a taste of their fresh menu. Let's head inside. Glen Key named Quarterdeck after the military term for meeting place, which is perfect for this restaurant. I understand you're a regular here. Well, we come over here quite a, I mean, quite a lot. Guess what we're having dinner tonight? Hey, uh, Quarterdeck. <laughs> I need to be more of a regular, I really miss the place. This is my home away from home. Besides the variety of regulars, their menu has a great deal of variety as well. Steak, seafood, sandwiches, salads, we got a little bit of something for everybody. What is it about the food that keeps you coming back? Uh, the fish sandwich is the best fish sandwich there is. They got a giant selection. Great salads and... Um, that smells great. It is, yes. <laughs> Their Cajun popcorn shrimp is great. Okay, well, mm -hmm. I'll keep that in mind. If I can get good seafood, we're there. But the food isn't the only thing that keeps people coming back. We're nice, we get the food out on time, and it's good. The, the waitresses make sure they take care of you. You always have a full drink. The ambiance, the people, the way they treat us. If I get a chance to come out of the kitchen or whatever, I'll go down and sit down and talk to them and just see how their days are going. We like the relaxed atmosphere. I mean, you came up to the back? door and you said, I'm back. I did, because <gasps> I saw Michelle. We strive, I will tell you that. That keeps them coming back. The fresh seafood and great company are what make Quarterdeck an amazing restaurant. Hook, line, and sinker. So do you know what the difference between a fish and a piano is? 
a fish and a piano. You can't tune a fish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we have a sense of humor here tonight. After seeing everybody else's food and meeting all these wonderful people, I decided to join them. If you're looking for some fresh quality food, come check out Quarter Deck and Umatilla. For Bon Appetit, I'm Jana Wheeler. Pick up the September edition of Style Magazine to learn more about this popular Umatilla hotspot. Coming up after the break, we'll give you some helpful tips on how to cook the perfect steak. And also, we'll give you a test drive in the 2014 Chevy Impala. You don't want to miss it. When it comes to real estate in the Mount Dora, Eustis, and Tiberias areas of Lake County, Pierce Realty is the number one choice. Denise and Larry Pierce know the market inside out and have personally sold and closed over $100 million in real estate since 2000. Our home buying experience with Pierce Realty was easy and professional. We'd recommend them to anybody, not only professionally, they'd become our friend. If you're in the market to buy or sell, contact Pierce Realty today. When was the last time you did something for you? From the time I left, I mean, I didn't want to put on makeup. I could tell immediately that my skin was looking better and better. At New Body Contours, our team is dedicated to rejuvenating you, inside and out. This was exactly what I wanted to have. You don't feel like a patient, you feel like a client. From relaxing facials to fat-reducing laser treatments, you'll always find what you need to look good and feel great at New Body Contours. Welcome back to Style TV, on location at Advantage Golf Cars in Wildwood. If you're in the mood for a delicious steak, look no further than Vic's Ember Supper Club in Leesburg. Featured on the 2013 Hot List, Vic and his son Victor have set the bar high when it comes to grilling steaks. Our Allison Rogers met up with Vic to find out what's going on in the kitchen. I'm Allison Rogers with Style TV's In the Kitchen, and we're at Vic's Ember's Supper Club in Leesburg. Vic and his son Victor built this restaurant 25 years ago, and today we're in the kitchen to grill up the perfect New York strip. I'm here with Vic Donahue at Vic's Ember's. This restaurant was recently voted Best Steaks in Lake County. So Vic, what are we going to be grilling up today? We're going to cook a, a, a New York strip. Okay, and what's the first step? The first step is to trim the fat cap off of the whole loin like so. And then you, you cut your steaks, and we cut our steaks fresh every day. That's, that's half the battle. Okay, and you know about how many steaks to cut each day, right? Yes, I do. Because uh, how long have you guys been open? I built this, uh, my son and I built this 25 years ago. All right, well, after 25 September, years, <laughs> you kind of know what you're doing. We'll be celebrating our silver anniversary. Okay, and what are you doing now? Is this We're going we're gonna to season this steak with a little butter and some of our seasoning that we make. And the seasoning, is it for sale or is it a secret? No, we, we don't sell the seasoning. We sell the steaks. Oh, all right, good. Looks can... delicious, lots of butter, seasoning. Mm -hmm. we've, cut the, we've cut the strip off the whole loin, and we do this fresh every day. Now we'll put it on the grill, like so. So Vic, after the steak's been on the grill, how long does it cook? What does it look like when it comes off? For a medium rare steak, which is the best steak, because okay. it, it retains its juices, uh, uh, more flavor that way, Okay. it'll cook about five minutes on each side for a medium rare. Ooh, here, and, fresh plate. And that's what it looks like. Looks beautiful. So medium rare, about five minutes? Correct, five minutes total. Okay, good, thank you. Well, there you have it. You've heard the secrets from Big Zimbers, which was voted best steaks in the Lake and Sumter Style Magazine's hot list. For Style TVs in the Kitchen, I'm Allison Rogers. For more tips in the kitchen, check out our online edition of Style at lakeandsumterstyle.com. State-of-the-art facilities and world-class ophthalmology. That's the reputation that St. Luke's brings to its new location in the villages at Lake Sumter Landing. Here's their story. Hey, Mrs. Hoffman. How are you? When Virginia Hoffman developed cataracts and started having vision problems, she made an appointment at St. Luke's in the Villages, a 40-minute drive from her home in Leesburg. I believe when you're dealing with your eyes, you better go someplace that has the experience and has a good reputation. St. Luke's at the Villages, located in the Lake Sumter Landing, is one of the newest state-of-the-art ophthalmology facilities in the St. Luke's network, which features seven offices across Central Florida. Inside, you'll find cutting-edge technology for clinical exams and diagnostics, 
as well as a fully accredited surgery center. Our goal as physicians is not just to treat patients to um, perform surgeries, but it's really to enhance the quality of life of our patients. And St. Luke's at the Villages was designed around the patient experience, with all the added touches that help this location stand out among ophthalmology practices. Dr. James Gills, the founder and director of St. Luke's, has performed more cataract and lens implant surgeries than any other surgeon in the world. So how are you feeling? Upon building this new facility, he personally selected Dr. Kimberly Ireland to run the village's practice. Because of Dr. Gills and the work that he started doing, we can do cataract surgery much more routinely with less impact to the patient. Dr. Ireland is a board certified ophthalmologist specializing in advanced cataract surgery. To be able to help people is one of the reasons I went into medicine in the first place and I think that's something that comes from within and that we have to nurture every day in our work environment. I'm blessed in that I can do a job that's both intellectually stimulating um, that feeds my curiosity but also rewards me personally and that I can connect with patients in that way and help improve their lives. For patients like Virginia Hoffman, the results from her cataract surgery can speak for themselves. The most surprising thing is what happens after you get the cataract surgery. Green is greener, red is redder, um, Colors are more vibrant, it's much easier to see, much easier to read. You see so much better, it's just unbelievable. Each month, Style TV features a section dedicated to living a healthy lifestyle as seen in our sister publication, Healthy Living Magazine. This month, I went to Anytime Fitness in Leesburg to learn three simple exercises to tighten your core. Healthy Living is brought to you by New Body Contours. A tighter tummy is at the top of everyone's fitness wish list. This month for Style TV's Focus on Fitness, I'm at Anytime Fitness to show you the best tool to whip those abs into shape, the stability ball. To begin, lie flat on the ground with the stability ball between your ankles. Slowly raise your legs and your upper body simultaneously and pass the ball into your hands. Lower your upper body and your legs, but don't let them touch the ground. Raise and pass it back to your ankles. That's one rep. Repeat for three sets of 10. For the next exercise, lie face up on the ground with your calves resting on top of the stability ball. Raise your hips to form a straight line from your legs to your shoulders. Then pull your heels in, rolling the ball towards you. This move will not only engage your core, but your glutes and hamstrings as well. Extend your legs and lower your hips without letting them touch the ground. Repeat for three sets of 12. For the next move, you'll need to get in push-up position on top of the stability ball. To do so, place your knees on the ball and walk your hands forward until your body is in a straight line. Engaging your core to keep balance, tuck your knees in, pulling the ball underneath you. Lower your hips and roll the ball backwards. That's one rep. Repeat for three sets of 10. The great thing about the stability ball is that it's all about balance. Any way you use it, you're engaging your core in order to stay steady. So for killer abs, get creative. Check out the Healthy Body section of our sister publication, Healthy Living Magazine, for more ideas on how to use this tool to get those abs that you've always dreamed of. For Style TV's Focus on Fitness, I'm Tori Petri. That'll do it for Style TV, but we don't want to let you go just yet. We'll leave you with a new test drive segment we shot at Van Ganaway Chevrolet, where we got to test drive the new 2014 Chevy Impala. Every once in a while, we like to let our production team have a little bit of fun. Okay, we're about to go on a test drive of the 2014 Chevrolet Impala. Let's see what it can do. This is my favorite vehicle that Chevrolet has built in the last probably four to five years. Well, it's an all new redesign. The styling of the new Chevrolet is just unbelievable. They took the Chevrolet Impala and they made it a bigger car to give you more room, more, more passenger space. Before, Chevrolet never had a luxury sedan, and now it's a luxury sedan that, that Chevrolet can compete with. 